What's good? It's your boy, Mixtape Moff, and today I wanted to address my thoughts on this Vlad situation real quick. So the problem with DJ Vlad is that he is a white dude with a hip hop platform who tends to ask black rappers questions about their criminal past. Off the bat, that sounds suspect, right? And to make matters worse, he never edits out the incriminating information. Like, that's how you can tell that Vlad was never a street dude. If you ever did any kind of dirt, there's like an unwritten understanding that you have that you don't want a person to say something on record uh, that could get them jammed up. Not only is that a street code, but it's just something that a decent human being would do. Look, I had my issues with Vlad. He exploits the culture. And I didn't like how he refused to apologize to the minister Farrakhan. That was some sucker shit. Uh, but, but he does have a right as an interviewer, you know, to ask the questions that he does. It's his show. The reality of it is, is that people tend to find Vlad's interview style to be entertaining, right or wrong. I mean, it's really no different than people's obsession with gangster or mafia movies, if you think about it. And yes, we could say that if Vlad really cared about the culture, he wouldn't even ask these type of questions to begin with. And I completely agree. I know I definitely wouldn't, but it's pretty evident that Vlad seems to care more about views than the music or the culture. But despite Vlad being this suspect hip hop journalist, let's be all the way real. Some of the rappers who go on his show and tell on themselves are reckless as hell and lack all types of self-discipline. I just want to know at what point was the whole moving in secrecy and code of silence thing completely disregarded? Like, when did that breakdown occur? Can it be traced to something as simple as Rick Ross's line, I'm selling dope on my iPhone? Uh, I still have my issues with that line to this day because I feel it promoted sloppy behavior for the youth. Do y'all think that some of these old school gangsters who are so high revered would be so eager to spill all their information to a stranger? Do y'all think that they would lack that type of self-control? I don't think so. Let me be clear, Vlad is a problem and I do not approve of his methods, but I'm sorry, some of these rappers uh, need to hold themselves accountable also. So here's what I would recommend, and it's a simple solution really. If it were up to me, I would make it mandatory that anyone Whoever thought of making a career selling drugs or doing crime be forced to watch all five seasons of HBO's The Wire and take notes on it. Yes, I said HBO's The Wire. Why am I saying this? Because The Wire teaches patience and self-control. It has life lessons. It was a deep show in general, uh, but there's a part to it that teaches you how to maneuver smart if you ever consider doing crime. I mean, think of how many times those dudes dump burner phones a day. Think of how elaborate their coded language was. There were no shortcuts. Remember when Stringer would hang up on dudes for their sloppy phone manners? Yo, what's your phone manners? And that was real discipline. But I can't help but think about how this relates to the Vlad situation. And I feel if some of these younger dudes had that awareness in that game that you can get from a real life OG or a show like The Wire, if you don't have an OG, they probably wouldn't be talking so freely about their crimes. You know, something would kick in like that old hustler's reflex that would tell them, nah, I'm not saying that. I'm not going there. Now, I'm not letting Vlad off the hook whatsoever, uh, but at the same time, I still can't co-sign this careless behavior uh, for some of these artists. Like Big said, dumb rappers need teaching. Lesson A. These are just my thoughts. I didn't really have time to reflect on this until today, but I had to get it off my chest. Anyway, it's your boy, Mixtape Moff. I'm signing out. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. As always, it's peace and blessings one.